Thanks for tuning in to the setup video for the brand new IQ site with the Retina Lock technology. Now the new IQ is without a doubt the most accurate bow sight that's available on the market and it backs that up with a money back guarantee that promises that you're going to shoot the longest distances with the greatest accuracy in the tightest groups than you ever have before. And that's due to several amazing features that are only available on the IQ site. The IQ Micro Bow Sight features Retina Lock technology. Micro adjust windage. Micro adjust elevation. Tool free locking knobs. Built in sight level. The IQ features a 19,000s highly visible fiber optic pin that concentrates light using surgical steel tubing and a fiber that is nine times longer than a traditional sight fiber. This gives you an ultra bright aiming spot without having to use batteries and this is legal in all states. A staggered stack tight pin design adjustable second axis. For even brighter pins, the IQ is accessible with an adjustable rheostat light that's sold separately. The IQ Micro Bow Sight with the Retina Lock technology can prove to you that your aim can be off even when your pin is perfectly on. Take a look at this diagram. If your bow is torqued a quarter inch and the pin is on the target, your shot, because of your bow torque, is actually going to be off. In fact, over 5 inches at 20 yards and 10 inches at 40 yards. Now in this example, if your anchor point is a quarter inch high and your pin is on your target, your shot is still going to be off. Once again, 5 inches at 20 yards and 10 inches at 40 yards. Now take a look at this perfect sight alignment using your retina lock. You can see that your actual shot impact is right where you have your pin. The retina lock shows that you have perfect hand position and perfect anchor position. You've centered the dot for the perfect shot. Now the IQ sight comes right out of the package pre-assembled and ready to go. That's a really nice thing about it. What you're going to find in the package, in addition to the site, is some easy to follow instructions as well as a small package that's going to contain four different Allen wrenches as well as a couple optional screws that you can use in your windage as well as your L elevation just in case you ever choose to remove the self-locking knobs that come standard on there. But what you want to do is take the two screws that are the same, which are the ones that are going to be used to mount the sight directly to the bow. Um, you're going to use the Allen key that is provided, and you want to make sure that your sight is always firmly snug down. You want to make sure that there's no possibility for that to ever come loose. The next thing, and this is critical, as much as you're going to want to immediately start to play with that retina lock, it's going to be important that you do not touch the retina lock until you've sighted your bow in at 20 yards. This is very important. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, mount it to your bow and we're going to sight in at 20 yards. Now the IQ sight comes right out of the package with your top pin set to the upper third of your scope housing. And this is going to be important because you want to make sure that as you sight in all your individual pins, you don't want to run out of space down at the bottom of your sight. So you really want to make sure that your top pin is adjusted with the small screws for the individual pin adjustment so that your 20 yard pin or your top pin is at the upper third of the scope housing. And this is going to really help you once you sight in these longer distance pins. All right, now that we've got the IQ mounted to our bow, we're gonna go ahead and take our first few shots. Don't expect to hit the perfect center on these first few ones because once again, this is only our starting point. And also, 
be sure to not focus on the retina lock right now. You want to get this bow sighted into 20 yards, so make sure you're at a safe distance and go ahead and make two good shots so that we can make our adjustments on our sight after we see where these first arrows land. All right, let's go see where these first ones went. Now for my first few shots, I didn't start out all the way back at 20 yards. I actually started about half that distance just to make sure that I wasn't losing any arrows or missing my target. And as you can see, my first arrows are definitely in the ballpark of where we need to be. So from here, what we want to do is follow the general rule when sighting in an archery sight, and that's to always follow your arrow with your pin. So as you can see, I was aiming here at the center spot and I'm high and a little bit to the left. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this side self-locking knob, which lets me adjust my up and down, my elevation. And instead of moving my individual pin, I'm gonna go ahead and move the entire sight frame up and down using this top knob that has the IQ symbol. So I'm gonna turn this to where my sight moves up and then I'm gonna secure it back down with that self-locking knob. And then I'm gonna make another quick adjustment to the left since my arrows are impacting to the left. And I think now that I'm in the ballpark, I can certainly go back to 20 yards to make my final adjustments to get this thing absolutely zeroed in. Okay, now we've made those small adjustments with the micro adjustment knobs and we've tightened them back down. And now we're gonna go ahead and make two more shots. Once again, not focusing on the retina lock. We need to make sure that we're absolutely zeroed in right here at 20 yards. All right. It's definitely looking better already. Once again, all you have to do is follow your arrow with your sight pin and you can quickly and easily sight in any bow. There we go, two in the middle. Let's go check them out. All right, well, as you see with a couple easy turns of these micro adjustment knobs, we're able to get dead center at 20 yards. And once you've sighted in that top pin to 20, then now is the time to make your adjustments to the retina lock. And what you wanna do is go back to 20 yards, pull back and use your same form and your same anchor as you did before. And now look up to that retina dot and see where the green glow is in comparison to the black dot. You want to make sure that that black dot is centered within the green. And what you're going to do to make that adjustment is there's going to be a simple screw here where it says in on your sight, which moves your green part of the retina in or out, depending on the way you turn the screw. And then on the top of the sight, you're going to see the small keyhole that allows you to make the adjustment for the up and down. And again, you're adjusting the green part of the retina lock and you want to make those small adjustments left, right, up or down so that the black dot is in the center of the green glow. Now, as we make these adjustments to the retina lock, it's important for you to know that we're adjusting the retina lock to suit your shooting form you don't want to adjust your shooting form so that you can see the retina lock. Use your normal shooting form and then make these small adjustments so that you have the center of the dot in the center of the green.
it's going to be really important that you focus on using your form and making sure that this retina lock is centered perfectly without you making adjustments to your bow grip or your anchor point. Wow. Right there is proof positive why the IQ sight with the retina lock technology is simply the most accurate sight that's on the market right now. This sight gives you instant feedback for any type of form or shooting style imperfections that you might have. I mean, after looking at this, the most expensive part about buying this IQ is going to be having to buy new arrows because with that three-shot group, I've got a cut vein and a broken knock. I don't know what more you could possibly ask for. And that's why the IQ is the only site that's offering you a money back guarantee that you're gonna be the most accurate as well as be able to extend your range to further than you've ever shot before. Now that you've got your bow absolutely zeroed in and crushing arrows at 20 yards, now you can go ahead and use your individual pin adjustments to move your other pins up or down so that you can sight in at all the other ranges that you might have. So once again, this is proof positive why the IQ brand bow sight with the retina lock technology is simply the most accurate sight on the market.